what's going on everybody welcome back to another video now today i'm going to be showing you where you could have gotten all of the developer melees that were very exclusive yesterday such as the dark heart illumina firebrand venom shank and more so if you're brand new be sure to leave a like and subscribe that would be greatly appreciated but anyways let's get right into it and uh we're already here on villa so i might as well show you where you could have found uh, Venom Shank. So originally you would have found it up here behind here and it would have been right there. But then after the restock, um, th they've moved it all the way over here on top of this balcony right here. It was pretty crazy because um, only one person could get it per server. So it was basically a race to who, who got here first. And uh, I used a pretty cool little trick. Uh, that's not gonna help, but Obviously, over there's the first spawn, as you saw, but um, if you're over here and you spawn over here, which is the second spawn, you're way closer, and here's why. Um, you spawn right here, and you just need to jump here, here, and you can just walk over and get it. Took very little time, uh, and if you spawn over here, it takes a lot longer, so you have to get second spawn to uh, even come close to getting this, and I don't believe there's a jump getting up here super easily, so you have to actually go around and get it but um yeah that's how you would have gotten venom shank all right firebrand this one was interesting as you can see i've got the firebrand in my hand right now um this one was very interesting um because apparently people knew about the second location before the second location was even patched but the first location was originally down here for 100 copies and all of these were like released at like 1 a.m uh eastern um yesterday so it was it was very uh, late in the night. Then secondly, it spawned right up in this tree. Now, there was a lot of people that got confused and they thought, oh, you can't get it from down here. You have to you have to hit it with your melee or whatever. But And you have to climb the tree, which was hilarious to see because at the time, all I was seeing was people trying to climb up the tree. Like There was like 50 people trying to climb up the tree at once. It was hilarious. Um, and then there was, of course, the casual players that don't know what's going on and they're just shooting at them. But um, what I did to get my sword is I came over here. I actually came up on top of this roof right here, if it'll let me. I'm just going to take the ladder. It's easier. But um, yeah, what I did was I came over here. I had the M14 EBR, which I usually hate on that gun, but that gun actually saved me this one time. And all I did was just spray right there. And I heard a cha-ching sound. And I saw I went to the menu and it said Firebrand. I was so happy. So this one was very interesting because uh, as you can see cash is cash here and this is not a very common map in the map pool. So this one lasted about like all day until pretty much midnight of the of the next day which is today. But um, yeah it originally was right here spawned right here as like a little b brick. And then um, was later moved across the entire map all the way over here by this playground area and as you can see everything looks normal and everything but there was a little tiny blip of a block sticking out and you all you had to do was just shoot it and you would have gotten it and it's crazy because that one that one lasted that one was actually um restocked for hours upon hours and nobody got it until finally like late in last night people finally figured out where it was it was crazy. So unfortunately, I was not able to get this next one that we're going to be checking out. But I, I hit the thing and it didn't give it to me because it was out of copies. But uh, yeah, so there's a, there was, it was hiding behind a snow pile. And so I think a lot of people got confused here. And honestly, I was at first too. But I got unlucky. Well, actually lucky. I thought it was going to be by this first spawn snow pile. But um, in the game I was in, it was behind the second um, snowball. And people thought it was right here by the first spawns, but it was really over here on the entire other side of the map. It was a little tiny little triangle thing that was like right here. Uh, yeah, it might actually still be there. Just invisible. Yeah, it's right there. As you can see, the little the little, the little mesh for it's still there, but the, the texture is gone. Um, yeah, it was right there. And uh, that would have given you the Ice Dagger, which was, wasn't one of the more popular, most exciting ones, but still would have been pretty sweet to get. Fortunately, I did not get it, but I'm, I'm sure a lot of people did, and very big congratulations to those who did. This next one was pretty much found out almost instantly after the update came out. 
It was about 15 minutes after the uh, update launch, everybody figured out where it was. But uh, if you come down here in the middle of the map, this one was a little bit more fair, which I, I liked. But I had to fight some people to get this, and I was very lucky to actually uh, kill them to get it. But it was uh, it was that brick right there, we're hiding behind, or hiding next to it. It was a blue brick right there that you had to shoot, and you would have gotten it. As you can see, the mesh is still there, but you can't get anything out of it because it's gone now. But all you need to do is shoot that, and you would have gotten it. But um, yeah, this this melee does not have a particle effect, as far as I'm concerned. It's just it's just a it's just a sh shiny silver sword. So I mean, nothing too exciting to to go about, but it's a uh, dev melee, so pretty sweet. All right, and then we had this really weird one. Okay, so if we come all the way over here, normally um, that team would have probably have the better advantage of getting it. But um, yeah, it, so if you come here to the start of the events and you walk, there will be a first thing sticking up, like a little vent sticking up, which I never even knew existed. But uh, it was like right here or something. It was somewhere in, in here. I, I never figured out where it was. I think it was like right here or something. I don't even remember. But it was somewhere in this event. I believe it was right there. But um, yeah, that one was pretty chased down very quickly. I think that was the third one that was found out. And once one was found out, everybody went straight towards it. But uh, yeah, that's all of those. Now let's talk about the Dark Heart. The Dark Heart was actually probably the most fair and balanced one to get. Um, if you don't count like all the Discord groups of people hunting hunting it down. But um, so the first map you had to come to was Sandtown. And this had to be done all in one server. It could not be cross server. You can just do one then, then uh, head out and then go to the next one. And then the next one and keep repeating that process no it had to be done in the same exact server so it required a lot of rng but the but um this was interesting because um first off you had to go to sandtown and then here in sandtown everybody had to come over and um hit this window which is very weird because not normally people would be hitting windows but if you hit this window a Milo would appear on your screen. Um, and then that would tell you, hey, you're done with this. Then after that, you'd have to come to Dust 2. And ho be, be, be very hopeful that Dust 2 comes up before uh, the, the, the next map that we're going to be talking about. All right, yeah, I think this was probably the best team to do it on because all you need to do was come up here on top of this thing. Then you're up here. And... As you can see, the little presence here. But you had to hit this door. This door was the second key to the puzzle. Um, and then after you hit that door on Dust 2, you need to get very lucky and get an agency match. And obviously this event's over now. You cannot get any of these swords, unfortunately. Um, they might be giving out more in the future. Who knows? But um, yeah, as far as I know, this is going to be the end of this event for now. He could restock them. He could he could completely restock them. We don't know. But I doubt it. So you have to come over here to Agency. And this one was annoying because I found this like five minutes after after they ran out. But all you need to do was hit this chair. Hit one of these chairs or something over here. I forget which one it was, but it was one of these. I think it was this one. Or the plant or something. I think it was this chair. Pretty sure I remember it's popped up on this chair, but um, yeah, the last the dust two one would have popped up a monkey, and this one popped up the little uh, stone golem face thing that uh, Zone is obsessed with. But um, yeah, that would have been that. That would be three steps out of the four, and then the fourth step would be hitting this this secret button right here, which for those who don't know, this gives you a present. But uh, yeah, you click that. And then you get the Dark Heart, which you cannot get anymore, unfortunately. But that was interesting. I heard like a little sound go on. I don't know if that was like part of the event or something. I don't know. But like saying, hey, you did it in like a VIP server or something. I don't know. But uh, yeah, that was all of the locations of every single one of the swords yesterday. Man, that was a crazy hunt. I streamed for like four, four hours. 
looking for the dark heart melee it was insane but uh yeah it was it was a very fun event thank you uh zone for making this event it was a lot of fun um but yeah i hope you guys did enjoy this video if you did leave a like and subscribe that would be greatly appreciated um yeah i mean these are the only melees i got personally i only got the firebrand the lumina and the wind force i was too slow to getting all the other ones I honestly think server spamming was not the best play. I think staying in one server and um, going for all the maps was probably your best bet because um, the, all of them would be gone by the time you got to the server browser and actually uh, found the map because it's like Villa, but the game's like almost already over or halfway done or it has to, it basically had to have been done as soon as the map was available. Like as soon as people can spawn in, it was basically gone. But uh, yeah, that was a very, very fun event. Thank you all for watching. If you did enjoy it, leave a like and subscribe, like I said, and I will see you all later. So anyways, everybody, goodbye.